Hello all of my awesome viewers, this is Commander Knight and welcome to another channel updates video. So in this video we are going to be discussing some revisions in terms of the evaluation farm project and we are also going to be discussing uh, some quick updates in terms of new content available on my YouTube channel. And if I do end up drinking water throughout this video, I do apologize for that. I, I don't know why, but I have a headache this evening and I'm hoping to record this video. So, anyway, now that my computer is humming, let us continue on with the, you know, so let's go into the some revisions with the evaluation form project. So for the next few minutes, it is going to be, I'm going to be at a full on rant because I was not impressed with some of the responses I got back from G from the um, newer GBI forms, but I want you to all bear with me. And if you weren't the person, then you have nothing to be concerned about. So I got two, res so I got two responses from the GBI forms, GBI forms, and they were all filled out. And I was absolutely disappointed and very saddened by the responses I got in terms of the GBI forms. Um, I will say that the feedback then there was not useful. And it was, and it was very, um, it was very, how to, what, what's the right word? It was, I wouldn't say bullying, but it was kind of harassment. I'm just going to say it. It was basically just harassing my YouTube channel as a whole and abusing the evaluation forms. But basically, yeah, but basically when I, when you fill out a GBI form for any of you that's going to be filling out a GBI form, what I expect in the GBI form is I expect there to be Construct, yeah, as I bet, expected to be specific, beneficial, and more importantly, constructive criticism. What I mean by that, it, what I mean by that is be specific about what you, yeah, be specific about the GBI forms as a whole, because the more specific you get, the more, yeah, the more I can understand what exactly you found good and bad about my YouTube channel. And what I mean by constructive criticism is, I guess, point out stuff that you found bad about my channel, but kind of but kind of give a sense of what specifically you found bad about my channel and not just completely attacking my YouTube channel as a whole because that's what I found in some of the in some of the forms in you know, some of the forms I think one of the forms I found that it didn't give a lot of specifics I just had one response throughout and then another one was just completely attacking my YouTube channel as a whole and just criticizing it for pre for just nothing pretty much just it was just it was just criticizing, and it was very saddening to see that response. You know, see that response for the evaluation part project. So that is all I'm going. You know, that is all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say about to so be specific and constructive criticism. And more importantly, if I catch any more responses concern that aren't specific, I will be disqualifying those forms within the when I'm evaluating. So if you can't provide specific examples, don't fill it out yet. Wait till you can provide specific specific examples, and more importantly, if I find any more forms and if I catch any YouTube channel that has you know, that has forms that are just completely criticizing my YouTube channel, and they're and they're not leaving any useful information, they're just completely criticizing my YouTube channel and not using constructive criticism. I will be putting them on what I call a watch list. What this basically will mean is that I will keep an eye on the YouTube channel from. Yeah, keep an eye on YouTube channel closely, and I'll and I will keep an eye on any comments that you post in my discussion or any single one of my videos. If I catch any comment that is attacking my YouTube channel directly, I will be giving you a strike. Get the three strikes, and I'm reporting you to YouTube for you know, YouTube for harassment because I will not tolerate harassment on my YouTube channel. That is not to say that you can't leave constructive criticism in the evaluation form project. In fact, I highly encourage it. If you can give specific details on what exactly you found wrong about my YouTube channel, by all means, go ahead. And if you want to leave that in the comments, go ahead. Like if, like if there's something wrong with my banner, leave it in my YouTube channel. Hey, hey, Commander Knight, there's something wrong with my banner. Or if there's something wrong with my thumbnail, hey, I don't think I found this right. You can definitely do that. But if you just completely attack my YouTube channel, I'm not going to tolerate that. So that's the end of my rant. And that's basically... Yeah. Yeah, that's basically the end of my rant, so to speak, so I just wanted to get that off my chest because I just was not impressed by that. Anyway, now on to what ex some of the improvements with the evaluation forms. So, 
this is the beginning of a month evaluation form in, term, in terms of it. I know I scrolled down, but I'm going to scroll back up. And actually, I use this as a temp as the January GBI form template, and no, you won't be able to access it until the end of November. Basically, some of the adjustments I made to the form are, are found at the beginning. I basically included that the forms are 100% confidential because that also was an issue that came up. Was there some, was it confidential? Was it not? And maybe there's some, there was some lingering in terms of that. And then also please give useful feedback like I discuss in this video, so to speak. But I think one of the things I wanted to mention very closely is the channel email, and that won't be required going forward. But the whole purpose of the channel email is to try and get a follow up of if I have any questions concerning the evaluation form project as a whole, if, or not concerning as a whole, but concerning your form specifically. Like, if I have any questions, you know, I, I, if I have any questions, I would like to be able to contact you so I can get those questions answered for moving forward. But I won't be requiring it on my YouTube channel because I realize it's personal information, but just realize that if you don't include your channel email, your some or some of your or certain parts of the evaluation form project may be right, not the project, the evaluation form may be disqualified due to the lack of clarification that I would otherwise contact you through an email. So that's all concern yeah, that's all concerning that. And then that's pretty much all in terms of it. Again, provide useful feedback, but everything is remain the same. And then I also include a date because I'm going to be going back to one form. And then for the end of the HCC form, same thing. Just have 100% um, confidential. Please provide useful feedback and the channel email itself. And then finally, the evaluation form project Google Doc availability, or so to speak. With this, I will be... I will be keeping the evaluation forms for the month of November. But once November ends, I will be completely deleting the the evaluation form project availability Google Doc because it's confusing and I'm going to try to narrow down the evaluation form project to one form. Because I'm revamping everything, I'm going to need to create a brand new what exactly is the evaluation form project and that may be shrunk down to 14 minutes instead of 17. But... Hopefully this way it will be simpler in terms of the evaluation form project. So that's all in terms of the evaluation form project. A quick update that I wanted to mention concerning new content on my YouTube channel. Um, as far as new content on my YouTube channel is concerned, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, give me a minute to... Um, never mind. Oh, that's what I was going to mention. So... One of my one of my series that I was planning on doing was the command was Commander Nance World Review. Due to the fact that it would involve some political discussion and that would kind of be incorporated in my YouTube channel, I'm not gonna be doing that specific series because I feel like it would I my YouTube channel would kind of enter into the political mainstream and there would be kind there would be debates throughout my YouTube channel. I don't want to turn my YouTube channel into a platform where there's debates involved and kind of controversial issues because there's some confident controversial issues that we'll be talking about in terms of the Commander Knights worldview. But that is all specific that is all concerning the the channel updates as a whole. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to get some new content out. Till next time, farewell to meet again.